Hey everybody, that's Hate Mail here, doing another episode of Beating Death Circle Fun Alliance Mission Teams. I know what you're thinking, just use Red Hood, duh. But he is probably just coming out as I'm recording this now. But for now, we're using Wonder Woman, Princess of the Mirza. We have Supergirl, Nightwing, and Arcus. This team was actually pretty fun to use. Didn't work all the time because sometimes you'd accidentally kill Baby Lobo, and Supergirl is just a liability. So I didn't use her on every team, but I did find that I liked using Wonder Woman with Arcus. As you can see here, I'll attack him first if there isn't an MJ. You can strip all his buffs, then hit Arcus's big heavy duty attack. And every now and again, if you get lucky, it crits and it'll kill him instantly. I thought I recorded a video of it doing that, but I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and just went with these two videos that I had. Thankfully, uh, Supergirl does so little damage with her eye beams that you don't have to worry about killing Baby Lobo. And I'm hoping with, uh, actually, I know with Red Hood, you're going to be looking for those Baby Lobo teams. So I can't wait to get my hands on him. It's going to make so many different teams fun and viable. And gotta love Arcus. I don't know why I waited so long to gear him out. I'm actually missing one of his gears, I noticed. Which seems like it affects his life quite a bit. But he still does the trick. I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing from Bane. A few people talked about how he can attack after every single turn. Which, without Red Hood, that would be terrible with Baby Lobo. But without him, or with Red Hood, Run and Bane's going to be awesome. Or if you're just not fighting the Baby Lobo teams anymore. Because I could see those disappearing pretty quick once he becomes readily available. In this match, he had the fourth upgrade that was fixed on Grundy, which gives him strength up every time he's attacked. As you can see, his strength up and speed up is getting scary. I started getting a little nervous in this match. So as you can see, Nightwing. I like his character. I like the double assist, but he's just not that great of a character. There's too much anti-evasion for his evasions to be worthwhile. Which, I mean, they're not bad, but... He does he does way too little damage. And he doesn't bring anywhere I mean he doesn't bring much in the way of utility. He gets his evasion ups. And he can double assist call assist once with his big attack, but really that's not that's not much. He's gonna be one of those characters that need a rework eventually. I mean even against mystics, most opposite affinities seem to do more damage than he does. That's, he's at gear 11, just in case you're wondering. I don't think all of Supergirl's powers are gear 11. I stopped gearing her once I realized she wasn't good for this meta anymore. Which is sad, because she's my only legendary 5, believe it or not. I'd taken the wrong abilities back in the day, so I had to gear her out. And not long after I geared her out, the meta shifted, and she wasn't really a character I wanted to use much more anymore. Everybody was ticking low. I was starting to get worried. Here the battle had MJ, so I swapped out Supergirl for Batman TDK. And as you can see, my screen froze. For some reason, I'm ever since this last update, my iPad feels like it's having some kind of memory leak, and I lag out pretty bad. So let's lag spike. There it goes. Which I normally never lag loading these screens. And I guess a double assist would have been pretty good if I was hitting somebody with awareness. And that's where I like Arcus, because he's got the debuff thing from Wonder Woman on him, so he's not able to get his mends and everything. So then you can make quick work of him. This guy still has way too much life, though. He took a double shot from Arcus. Another hit from... Wonder Woman, a hit from TDK, and then it took another attack to take him out. I 
This little team wasn't too bad. I did kind of like it. It's one thing I like about these alliance missions, is they're kind of fun. To run around with these weird teams that you would never normally put together. I'm sure it's frustrating if you don't have a very deep roster, though. But that's what good old Deathstroke would be good for. Even when Red Hood's out and about, you'll still be able to use them for stuff like this. And I just wanted to remind everyone that just recently we dropped episode 5 of We Are Our Legends podcast. We also have the YouTube version available. We talked about all four of the new characters. We talked about Marvel Strike Force versus DC Legends. And we also talked about um, Dr. Fate and what we think of him and Cyborg. So be sure to check that out if you haven't listened to it already. It's available everywhere. Podcasts are available. iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, and also on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a good one. And I will have um, some videos of the new characters up this weekend. So stay tuned for those.